Hey everybody, Economic Ninja here. I hope you're doing well. We're gonna be talking today about China. Sorry about the sunglasses, but the sun is so bright. My future's bright, your future's bright. And you wanna know why? It's because with a little bit of knowledge, you go a long way. With knowledge, there is no such thing as fear. But we're gonna talk about some things that are very scary right now that are going on in Canada. Uh, right now, through an executive order, uh, unlike one that they have never seen, and this could get quite scary, uh, finances are being attacked. Bank accounts are being seized, uh, frozen, assets are being frozen, and now it's affecting cryptocurrency. I think it is very important to talk about this because it is very important because I, I say that it is so important to learn when you're investing in cryptocurrency to custody your own crypto, whether it be Bitcoin, Digibyte, Litecoin, XRP, or, you know, like a, a, a blockchain itself or an altcoin, all right? So we're going to talk about this, this big old mess of things. Look at this. There's all these little devices. I got them all. I got Nanos, I got Trezors. Uh, we're gonna talk about how important it is to learn how to be yeah, responsible. You know, uh, there's a plan and I need to go into it in another video, but I'll try and briefly touch on it right now. Anytime there's a new technology uh, in the financial world, uh, the institutions want to take control of it. They wanna own the control over it. They say, oh yeah, you can own it, just like you can own stocks, but you actually don't own the actual certificate. There's a difference between street name recognition and, and actually custodying your, your uh, actual st shares. And it's very difficult to do. Uh, they don't want you to do that. Why? Because they love the world of derivatives. They like make-believe, right? They want you to think you're secure and then to be able to over here when you're not watching, smash things down or build things up. Whole nother video, but uh, crypto is no different. You see, banks have gotten their little greasy fingers in there through futures, through options, through margin, through all kinds of different means to be able to control uh, the prices, okay? Now, the really neat thing about cryptocurrency as of right now, but there's not much time left as you're seeing what's going on in Canada, is they're slowly getting control over these things. And let's talk about Canada. So right now, Canada has uh, seized or frozen, uh, I believe, 34 wallets. Wallets that were attached to this protest that were going on of raising funds, all right? They're essentially telling you you don't have the freedom or the right to, ch to put your money somewhere, okay? This should be the greatest wake-up call in history right now for everybody right now to go, if it could happen there, it could happen here, wherever we are, all right? So it's important to custody things. Well, all of those wallets that were frozen were not wallets like these, you know, uh, on uh, devices. Uh, to be able to take care of your own, you know, to be able to custody your own stuff. These are wallets that are attached to government regulated accounts. I believe FINRA and some other accounts. <sighs> if the people that were accepting donations were moving their, uh, their stuff, their crypto to uh, secured uh, storage, this wouldn't have happened. All right. Um, and I think it's very important. So look, I'm going to put a link below because I think it is extremely important. Like I've, I have a treasure referral link and I think it's very important. The one thing, the reason why I like referral links, not only do, does it help, uh, the channel, uh, get some money. I think it gets like $10, uh, from everyone, but, uh, it's also a secure link that, that brings you to the actual site. So there's no phishing scams, especially in crypto. There's a lot of phishing scams. However, there's phishing scams everywhere, all kinds of different scams, but I have these, you know, treasures, right? I, I mainly use treasures. This is the older style, the smaller one. It doesn't have as much functionality as the larger one. That's the model T. I absolutely love this. It has a touch screen for multiple reasons. Um, higher security. I just really like it. I still use these, you know, but I really like this Model T. It's more expensive, but it is my go-to. And it carries, you know, all it holds all the crypto that I, I use. But anyway, I got lots of these, uh, all kinds of different reasons. Uh, so I put that link below in the comment section. Um, another thing that I think is very important, this is the wake-up call. Set these guys down. There is a point where no one is gonna be able to allowed to hold their own crypto. I know it sounds crazy, but there's gonna be a certain time where the banks get in. And I've already, I've been seeing it for the last year where um, banks offer you, it's like a gateway. Oh, it's super easy because we're offering it the bank and you already trust the bank. You got your currency in there. Why don't you let us hold on to your cryptocurrency for you? And what you don't realize is they're making, just like with your deposits, they're making money on the back end. They're loaning that crypto out, they're staking it, they're doing all that stuff. And banks, you're already seeing banks offer offer uh, a yield because what they're doing is they're going out and doing what you should be doing with your own storage and getting yield yourself and they're just giving you a pr small percentage of that and so you have a time that is very short and i'm not kidding i'm saying like a year or two to to learn this technology and and be responsible now guys i'm not a financial advisor 
don't take any of this as financial advice. This is like anything in life, it's important to be your own bank. That's why you have a savings account. That's why if you need money, you borrow from yourself instead of having to go, you know, your car blows up, you go to your car blow up account, your savings account, you pull the money out and then you replace it. You're your own bank. You're paying yourself interest. You're not blowing money in the world and having to borrow money on, you know, like with short-term loans, payday loans, heaven forbid, or credit cards and, and getting into more and more debt, okay? It's the same thing with crypto. It is a total financial system that is very, very new. And I don't, and if, if for some reason you're a crypto hater and you made it this long, I have no idea you, you need to do something else today because uh, I, I can't believe you made it this long, but honestly, uh, get past it because there were a lot of people that denied the internet too. And now we all look at them like idiots you're going to, don't be that guy. <laughs> you don't want to yeah, learn the technology. Now it's not going anywhere. Uh, the blockchain, uh, distributed, uh, uh, ledger, the decentralized true ledger of accounting for, uh, all kinds of, you know, things in the world is not going away and it's actually going to be pretty amazing. So I wanted to share with you guys how important it is to, to store your own crypto, to, to custody it yourself. And I'll start doing some more videos on security measures and things like that. Cause I think it's very important to, uh, to have security, good security. All right, guys, that being said, I thank you so much for watching the links uh, to the treasure is below. Take a look at it, see if it's for you. Um, with that being said, the economic ninja is out.